There's so much has happened since we last saw you at Fenway, most of it having to do with applications to law schools. Can you believe, uh, can you believe how much your application process has dominated the past month, month and a half of your political campaign up in Massachusetts? No, I really can't, especially at a time when, you know, J.P. Morgan Chase is loading up on risk again and, you know, managed to get in the news. And when our latest news is that net worth for American families has dropped 38 percent in three years. You know, there's a lot going out there, uh, going on out there in the world, and a lot of stuff to talk about. All right, and yet, uh, everybody continues talking about whether you, how, you know, whether you uh, properly filled out your forms as Native American or not. Um, do you think you've gotten that behind you now, or the story's still coming? Guys, we're not up in Boston, but that's all we hear about outside of Boston. Are, I mean, what is the status? Do you think the people are sick and tired of hearing that? You know, I think the people, actually most people were never very interested in it. And we got the facts out there early on it. You know, this is how I grew up, Joe. This is my family. I'm not backing off from my family. It became clear I didn't get anything for law school application or for college or for any of the jobs that I was hired for. But you know, the bottom line is, it's a real question about, are we gonna talk about issues or are we gonna talk about other things? And Scott Brown really doesn't wanna have to talk about the issues. He doesn't wanna have to talk about what's happening to America's families, what's happening to families here in Massachusetts. Because if that's what we were talking about, we'd be talking about three jobs bills in a row that would have